Fluids. All right, so this little video is about fluids and density. A fluid can be a liquid or a gas. A fluid can occupy the shape of its container. That's how we define it. So when we look at solid materials, we're always talking about the mass of the solid object because all the molecules are well-defined. It's a nice structure to it. It's nice and solid, no flow to it. But with a fluid, well, because we're filling the shape of its container is our definition, I take lots of little molecules and put them all together. So instead of talking about the mass, I'm going to talk about the density. So in our formulas, we'll also have density in it instead of mass and have some other way of working around all this. So now let's talk about the density and how to define and find the density and what we can do with it. So the density is defined as mass per unit volume. And I define volume with a capital V. Sometimes when I'm writing it by hand, I'll put little serifs or little like horizontal lines on top of my V. So with my handwriting, it stands out as being a capital V. So that's mass per unit volume. So on the screen, this is a object that has a certain amount of volume to it. And I can fill it with something. So this something's got mass to it. Uh, think of it as a sponge or what do you want to look at. But I've got something inside this volume. So this object has density. To increase the density, what I'll do is I'll compress the molecules and I'll put more of these objects inside of here. So what I'm doing right now is putting 21 times more objects in here. In other words, 21 times more molecules or 21 times more mass inside my volume. So my density is increased by a factor of 21 in this case. The formula for density is equal to rho equals mass divided by volume. So that looks like a lowercase p, but actually it's the Greek letter rho. So it's not the lowercase p, and that's the symbol that we're going to be using for density. The units are just like the formula. There's nothing special about density. It's not named after any person. So it's just what the formula says. It's a kilogram per meter cubed. Volume in standard SI units is a meter cubed. And the mass in standard SI units is a kilogram. So remember that we're not discussing mass. We're discussing density. However... Sometimes we have to relate an equation back and actually talk about the mass of an object. So we're not getting rid or divorcing ourselves from the concept of mass. We just generally talk about density in the formulas. So to talk about mass, it's really easy. We'll just rearrange the equation and say that mass is equal to volume times density. Remember, that's the Greek letter rho, not the lowercase p. So let's do a little comparison between some old stuff we have and new stuff. In other words, classical mechanics and fluid dynamics. In classical uh, mechanics, we know that the kinetic energy is one half mv squared, and the potential energy stored due to gravity is equal to mgh. But when we convert that over to fluid dynamics, we divide everything by volume. And in doing so, we kind of alter our equation. So the kinetic energy divided by volume is one half rho v squared, and the kinetic energy divided by volume is rho gh. So in classical mechanics, we have solid objects. In fluid dynamics, we have these collections of molecules. So we use density to define those collections of molecules.